2017 has finally arrived. Uh, hopefully it'll be a year marked by positive change and development, technological advancement, and a life filled with adventure. Coupled, of course, with some good food, good wines, and definitely some good times. But how and where can you experience all of this in 2017? Well, over the next couple of minutes, we're going to find out. Well, thrilling news is the launch of the Johannesburg Design Week at the Rand Show this year. And joining me is trend consultant Dave Nemeth to share some exciting news around the story. Dave, tell us more about the inaugural Johannesburg Design Week. Thank you very much, Jason. This is probably going to be one of the most exciting events on the design calendar. Johannesburg has never had a, uh, a design week. And as you mentioned, it is the inaugural one. And what we plan to do is educate people on the brilliant design that we have in this country. So some of the things we're going to be having, for one, is a massive design pavilion where we're going to have curated displays. So people can see the kind of international design that's out there, but more importantly, some of the great design that's being produced by local designers. So this is all taking place at the Rand Show. Why the Rand Show in particular? It just seemed like a no-brainer. The Rand Show is the largest consumer show in Africa and possibly one of the bigger ones in the world, which attracts over 200,000 feet. The Furniture Hall itself is the biggest showcase of furniture in the country. And we really wanted to get to the most people we could possibly penetrate. And it just seemed like a no-brainer to go with one of Africa's oldest shows and a, and a heritage brand. Brilliant. Well, I'll be there. I'm sure you'll be there as well. You're hosting uh, part of the show as well. Yes, I'll be there during the duration of the show and I'll be hosting some of the events. Great. Well, if you have any questions, I'll find you there. And if you have any questions, you'll find him there too. We'll see you there. The Doyens of Colour, the Pantone Colour Institute, have announced that green, more specifically greenery, will be the colour of the year for 2017. It's a colour of hopefulness, new beginnings, and of course, it's our connection to nature. Now, following the success of the Eco Pavilion in 2016, hosted by Garden World, is the 2017 Earth Expo, also at the Rand Show. Heading up the Earth Expo is Lauren Thompson, also wearing the colour of the year, green. How are you doing? Well you. Good, fine, thank you. Tell us more about the Earth Expo. Uh, the Earth Expo was launched as a platform to do a number of things, to support entrepreneurs, SMEs, NGOs and even bigger brands to showcase their sustainable efforts that they're making. Um, and it's also to promote responsible consumerism. A lot of people, you know, green is a buzzword right now, as you just said, and um, a lot of people are not really aware of what's out there and accessible that can assist them to make their lives more sustainable with its personal business. Oh, because I mean obviously Rand Show being a consumer show, I want to go there and I want to go to the Earth Expo and say, right, I'm here to buy. Definitely. And it's to expose, you know, people to the choices that they have in, in, in the, the, there's amazing innovation out there um, in the sustainable arena, but it's also to demystify what does sustainability mean? Mm. It doesn't just mean an organic or natural product. It also means companies that are out there creating jobs, upskilling people, engaging with their community and, and, and actually creating economic wealth within their environment. Well, Lauren, thanks so much for joining us and uh, we'll definitely see you there. Great stuff. Quite a lot of uh, exciting first time ever to be held at the Rancho this year and I'm looking forward to it and so should you be. The Rancho has been around for more than 120 years. With me is CEO of the Joburg Expo Centre, Craig Newman. Tell us a bit more. Craig, why is the Rancho still considered to be Joburg's biggest day out? I'm going to start by saying value for money, Jason. Yeah. There isn't an event in this country that can give you the kind of entertainment, quality entertainment, for the entire family for the whole day at that price. It is still the best value for money entertainment for a great family day out. You say entertainment for a great family day out. What can we expect to see there? There's a lot of first time evers. What else is there that we can look forward to? Let's just look at the normal attractions that, that's been around for the past three years. You know, uh, what the SANDF puts on as um, a capability display. Uh, that is something, uh, you know, one would pay a fortune anywhere else in the world to attend and you get this all in your ticket. A rancho, like I've mentioned already, is over 120 years old. How does the rancho just keep on getting better? I mean, what is its claim to success? Refreshing. Every year we look at refreshing what we offer our audience at the rancho. Um, the rancho does have over 90% repeat audience on a year-on-year -year basis. We listen to our audience and we try and cater for them by refreshing our presentation of the Rand Show, refreshing what we have on offer as far as entertainment is concerned, and just giving them a complete uh, new experience or try to give them a new experience every time they visit the Rand Show. 
Look, we're not going to be around in another 120 years, but there's no doubt in my mind that the Rand Show will. Craig, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Jason. So what does Creepy Crawly, Q20, Prattley's Putty, and the CAT scan all have in common? Yep, they were all invented right here in South Africa. With me is Constantine von Wierger. Hopefully I got that right. From SAS Mesa Frankfurt to tell us a bit more. Constantine, why, what's the need behind having to inspire inventors and encourage great inventions? Well, it's quite simple. I mean, innovations are the backbone of each economy. If you don't have good inventions in your country, um, you know, you don't have products to sell globally. And especially with the, in this new global world, like inventions like the creepy crawler, uh, it is good for the South African economy because, I mean, the company is here in South Africa and it's exporting worldwide. And now you can have like effects like the weak rent any invention that is done here in South Africa is good for the South African economy, creating jobs, creating, creating a better life for us all here in South Africa. So it's a, innovations are uh, the key to everything in, in every kind of economy. Uh, from a rancher perspective, what can we uh, expect to see? Um, we, we, we're reinventing the rancher at the current stage. And, and, and it's important because everything, you know, you can't just like invent something once and then just keep it rolling again and again and again. You have to reinvent, you have to, you have to make it fresh, you have to make it new. And one topic we identified already a year or two years ago is the need for science and technology. And especially like showcasing uh, the, new, the new trends, the new things that are out there, like 3D printers, like VR headsets. Um, we, have, we have robots, um, like having a championship. So if it's homemade, handmade, made in South Africa, or even made by you, then the maker's market is for you. Constantine, tell us more about the maker's market. Look, we have a couple of categories in that in that market, like something like my deli, where you basically where you can showcase, you know, like the home uh, homemade food that you that you created, uh, you know, from pickles to bakery, from everything you want to do there. Uh, like my, uh, my my design, so basically everything you created. Uh, that's a, it's a it's a trend that we see coming again and again. South Africans starting to make clothes again, making to making their own accessories again. Um, so that is one, the other category. And the last category is my gift to you. And that is, I think, a very big element there is the gifting, the gifting element uh, where, you, where we, we have a lot of creative people that are creating very beautiful gifts that you can, that you can, uh, that you can um, sell at the, at the show. Well, that's it. I mean, it is a consumer show. So when I go to Maker's Market, what can I expect to buy? What can I expect to see? Can I sell my stuff there? Yes, you can. Everybody can sell, and I mean the one thing to understand is, is uh, the rancher. You're going to get if you if you're selling your 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 stuff there, you're going to get a lot of feet, and you're going to let a lot of feet that come there with the purpose of buying, and that is the unique thing about the rancho is you, you get 200,000 people all go there knowing that this is a show where where things are sold. Well, being German, I'm sure you appreciate food as much as I do, so I'm definitely looking forward to the deli market uh, side of the of the rancho, and hopefully we'll see you there as well. So as you can quite clearly see, there is something for everyone. There's something old, there's something new, there's something borrowed, there's even something green. This is not just another show. This is The Rand Show 2017.